Okay, it's already 8 to. So, while waiting for the others to join, let us set our what do you call this? standards during the virtual orientation. So, let's observe virtual netiquette, guys. I mean to say, you have to turn your microphones off. While the orientation is ongoing, and then for the camera, he will just be asked later if you have to turn it on. What else can you add to Marlon and the rest of the teachers? I think for now that would be all. Uh, students, please behave. You no, know, do some necessary netiquettes. Okay, so 71 participants. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we have all the advisors. How about the floating teachers? Are you present?
Okay, good morning. My virtual greeting to everybody, to the 79 participants of this virtual orientation. So today we will be having our grade 12 STEM orientation. We have two parts of the orientation. First, we have for the students, and in the afternoon at 1 to 2 p.m., we'll have for the parents. So this will be one of the first orientation that the STEM stand will be having for the entire school year. Okay, wait lang naga echo guys. So on this orientation, we will be joined by the administrators of the school, Kidapawan City National High School. We have from the office of the senior high school principal, Sir Israel A. Gabion. Sir, kindly say hello to our students. Hello to everyone. Good morning. Okay, good morning, sir. And aside from the... Assistant Principal for the Academics of Senior High School, we have also from the Office of the Guidance Counselor or the Guidance Office, we have Ma'am Suzanne Gabrido. Ma'am Zane? Okay, so I think Ma'am Zane is not yet here. And we have all the advisors of STEM strand from STEM A to F and all the floating teachers. So FYI, we have only two or three floating teachers. Okay, I think some of them are not yet present. So this virtual orientation is made possible because of the collaboration of all teachers from the STEM strand with the approval of the office of the senior high school principal, assistant principal, and because of the situation that demands an activity like this. So this will be a sort of foundation for you to know the what's and the why's in the upcoming or in the current school year 2021-2022. Okay, so I think we are all ready to start with the to formally start with our virtual orientation. So to start with, let's have an opening prayer to be led by Sir Andea. Sir, may I ask you to please lead us a prayer? Okay, let us pray. Most precious and heavenly Father, our Father God, we thank you so much for, for all the blessings that you showered us, especially this day. We are here, we gather for us God to glorify you in our life of God. Uh, as teachers, learners of God, to seek wisdom that is coming from the Lord, bind us one with your Holy Spirit this morning, Father God, work hand in hand for the betterment of the school year 2021 we abound your wisdom and blessing on us we acknowledge you this morning as our 
author and reflector. We magnify your name, we embrace your presence this morning. Bless each one of us, O oh God. Help us, O oh God, to really understand your purpose in our life. We commit everything in your mighty name. So we ask you to ask us. Okay, thank you, sir, and they, uh... So this time, for the first section of our virtual orientation, we'll be having the school services orientation first. So Ma'am Silin, can we share our PowerPoint presentation? So for the school services orientation, we will be hearing messages from the school administrators, of course, coming from the Office of the Senior High School Assistant Principal. We have Sir Israel A. Gabion. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. So you'll have your opening remarks at the same time, statement of purpose, anything you can say, sir. Okay, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, to all teachers and to our beloved students, good morning to all of you. Okay, uh, I would like to say congratulations to our teachers for this uh, extra mile that we are doing to reach out our children. And also, congrats also because of this uh, virtual orientation. I think uh, this is one of the uh, of the uh, advantages of this pandemic, where we can use this uh, platform and we can master this one, because we know that in this school year and maybe the next the the, uh, the next years in education, we have to really to use this kind of platforms. This is a uh, uh, more uh, technical, and then this is more effective, in, 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 of course, in some ways. And then, of course, uh, for the students, uh, congrats. And I can say that in this school, in Kidepawan City National High School, it seems like you are in the right uh, vehicle, uh, bringing you towards your goals, uh, for you to achieve your, your, what, your dreams, because for me, as the principal of, or uh, as the assistant principal of this, of this school, I can really say within my heart that uh, this school is one of the best schools in Region 12. And we have, you know what, in 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 Akidapawan City National High School, we have brilliant teachers. We have skillful teachers, very intelligent ones. Okay, so for that. You have to give them a round of applause. Okay, uh, someday or uh, 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 later you will just give them uh, a, a virtual, what's that, applause. And then in this uh, pandemic, of course, in this uh, trying times, we have to always think that in everything, of course, we have our Father in heaven. We have our Creator. It says there in the Bible that everything works together for good. And we know that in this pandemic, we can also learn many things. There are also uh, advantages, of course, despite of the uh, disadvantages because of the of the effects of this uh, pandemic. But still, I know that we have uh, we have advantages, and of course. Uh, most of the parents right now are involved in the learnings of their students, especially in junior high school and also in uh, uh, elementary. But I know in senior high school, you are more independent right now because of your age, because of your capacity in, in dealing with your uh, studies, okay? So I will just say that just embrace, just embrace everything right now and just uh, bear with 
with the Department of Education because of right now we are just using modules and of course we are using uh, online learnings but because of the weak uh, internet connection it uh, it is limited only but you know what Kidapawan City uh, Kidapawan City National High School with the leadership of our beloved principal we are really doing our best so that we can really cater everything and right now in our school we have uh, different laboratories also we have uh, what's this we have uh, virtual rooms for the teachers to use so that we can really reach out all our students so that we can really deliver to you our our lessons for you to learn more and more so that someday you can have your brighter future okay so I have to uh, end uh, my message uh, with this that we have to love each other, we have to help one another. You know what, students, your teachers love you so much. And, and this is not only a job for us, but, it's, but it is only a mission. Of course, it, it is our job because we are paid by the government to, to serve you. But you know what, it is also a mission because right now, this is an extra mile uh, that we are doing, that the, your teachers are doing, because because they love you, they want they want you to learn more, they want you to have a brighter future. Okay, so please bear that in your in your minds. And then we are remember always that in City High, uh, th there is life. Uh, ano yung ano natin yung ating parang yung ano natin yung parang uh, victory shout sa wow city high ganyan uh, life is here okay learning so, is fun. Uh, and then learning is fun and ito uh, ulitin ko talaga students in city high you will be taken you will be taken care of and then you you, you will be loved by your teachers yun kasi ang totoo din in fact my daughter from Davao City, I transferred her here in Kinapawan City National High School. So right now, my student is a grade 8 student under Ma'am Paruhinog in junior high school. I transferred my daughter here in Kinapawan City, City National High School because I really believe that Kinapawan City National High School is a best school, not only for my daughter, but for, for all of you, for all of us. So God bless us all. Thank you, students, for joining. And teachers, God bless you. God will reward you in due time. That's all. Thank you so much, Sir Gabion, for that welcoming message for our grade 12 STEM students for this school year. So indeed, amidst the pandemic, still we have to pursue our education. As the DepEd says, sulong idukalidad. Okay, so this time, we will be having a virtual orientation services from the guidance office coming from our guidance counselor. Is Ma'am Suzanne Gabrido already here? Ma'am Zane? Parang wala po siya, sir. Okay, so I think Ma'am Zane is not yet here. So we have on the slide from the senior high school office, we have Ma'am Gurley M. Pahuta assigned in our registrar's office. So all tasks relating to your documents, my dear students, are handled by Ma'am Gurley Pahuta. Ma'am Gurley, are you present? Okay, so next slide tayo, Ma'am Celine. Next slide. Maybe we'll just have the orientation from the guidance office later at the end of this uh, 
introduction of teachers. Okay, so what you have on your screen are the slides prepared by the guidance office. So that will be discussed later. Okay, on this part, you will be knowing your teachers. Are you excited, grade 12 STEM students? I know you're not yet familiar with your STEM teachers because during your face-to-face -face classes, you're still in junior high, correct? Okay, so this time, you will be seeing the teacher's profile based on the presentations prepared by Mancelin. First in line, we have Sir Marlon G. Bolasa. So, he has his contact details for you to reach him. So, Sir Marlon Bulaza is a teacher too of the Kidapan City National High School and he's handling the advisorship of grade 12 STEM A. So, for the 12 STEM A students, here is your advisor, aka DJ Bravo. So, he's handling the media information and literacy subjects. And at the same time, he is the radio-based instruction team leader and the radio-based instruction host. Next slide, then, Celine. Okay, the next one is your truly, Sir Mena G. Vigo. A teacher too of the senior high school department and handling the grade 12 STEM B advisory class. So I will need your subject, subject, uh, subject teacher and the rest you can just read. Okay, next. For the grade 12 STEM C advisor, we have Sir Isedro B. Andea, a teacher two of the senior high school department, and he's handling the UCMC for the Understanding Society and Culture uh, in the Philippines subject. So, Sir Isidro Andea is a division and regional SLM writer. Next one, the advisor of grade 12 STEM D. We have engineer Maricel M. Naraga, the teacher two of senior high school department handling the general physics one and two for the entire school year. At the same time, Ma'am Naraga is also a division and regional self-learning module writer for physics one and two. Next in line, we have Ma'am Celine Eliza D. Abler, the advisor of grade 12 STEM E. So he's hand, uh, she's handling the general biology subjects one and two for the entire school year. Next, Ma'am Celine. For the STEM app advisor, we have Ma'am Maricel B. Campo. Ma'am Campo is handling the English for academic and professional purposes subject. So Ma'am Campo is a 
division writer of modules. So those are our six advisors for the whole STEM strand. Next, we have your floating teachers or the subject teachers. First in line, we have Dr. Edna A. Cornelio. So Dr. Cornelio is handling the practical research subject. So for the school year, she is a science laboratory coordinator. So for the information of everybody, Dr. Cornelio will not be joining our orientation for today because she has an important matter to attend to. Next. Next subject teacher is none other than Ma'am Jenny B. Pascual. Ma'am Pascual is handling the contemporary arts from the Philippine region subjects. Ma'am Pascual is a teacher's choir conductress of the school and at present she's a member of the DepEd Kidapawan City Vaccination Team. Next, we have Ma'am Benicate and L. Obenya. So Ma'am Obenya is handling the media information and literacy subjects specifically for STEM E to F. And at the same time, from the other stands, UMS A to B, caregiving, tourism, and sports track. Another subject handle is physical education and health three for STEM A to C. So those are your teachers from the STEM strand. So let's give them a round of applause. Okay, so thank you. So at this time, you will be oriented by subject, per subject, teacher. Okay, so for the research to handle by Dr. Edna, I will just be reading for, she, for she's not around. Okay, so these are the rules and the specifications in your research subject, practical research too. So you are not allowed to write your answers on the modules. So answers should be written on yellow paper. And it is handwritten. So you are not allowed to print your answers, except when you are under the online learning modality. So the submission of your modules would be every next distribution schedule. And Dr. Cornelio emphasized that there will be deductions for the late submissions of modules. So your answer sheets will be set exclusively only for digital and DL or the fully online students via her email. The class of Dr. Cornelio happens modules with occasional recorded videos for hard to understand topics. That is title writing. So there will be recorded videos for this subject to be sent by Dr. Cornelio, Cornelio in discussing five topics. And the grading system would be 60% for the performance task that is writing your research paper and 40% for the written works. For the written works, that includes your the activities from your modules, your quizzes, and at the same time, your summative tests. So that will be from the research to subject. So next subject, we have the contempo, contemporary arts. So we will be doing 
Kami yung study teacher, Ma'am Pascual. Ma'am Pascual? Hello and good morning to all of you, especially to our heads here. Uh, our assistant principal, uh, Sir Gabion. Good morning to all of you, dear students and fellow teachers. I am uh, the subject teacher for the contemporary Philippine arts in the different regions. I am Jenny Pascual. And uh, presented are the rules and specifications for this year's contemporary arts subject. So Sir Vigo will be reading to you the rules and the specifications that is presented in the PowerPoint. Sir? I will be able to read again. Um, I cannot open my laptop. I cannot me. Uh, I cannot join in my laptop. So naka cellphone lang po ako. Mahirap po uh, okay, ibasa, basahin. Okay, so ikaw na lang po, sir. Ikaw na lang po, sir. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so for the contemporary art subject handled by Mark Oswald, we have the following rules and specifications. So paper to use, you can be using yellow paper for essays, A4 or long band paper for your output. So your subject, your subject on time for, you can be having a lot of output. So, you will be using the compound paper for it. Now, for the way of... Hello po. Naghihising po, Sir Vigo. Yes, ma'am. Okay, for accomplishing the module... We cannot hear you, Sir. Okay, wait lang. Am I heard? Okay, okay ako na lang po ang magbabasa, sir. Okay na lang, ako na lang po ang magbabasa, sir. Okay na po. Sige, sige, ma'am, dear. Okay. Dear students, these are my rules for our subject for this year. For rule number one, the paper to use. What paper we will be using uh, for our essays or for our explanations uh, we have to use yellow paper and then for our outputs we have to use a4 or long band paper preferably for our outputs next uh, yes for handwritten and hand drawn specification yes handwritten is preferably for those online uh, for those modular learners and for some learners who cannot who opted for encode and printed ones we have to i have really to consider them because uh, uh, it's for it's convenient for them so it's hand drawn also so Next is submission deadline. For every next retrieval schedule, I have really to deduct points for those who are late because um, tracking for those lates are very difficult. So submissions of uh, outputs and um, answered sheets will be every next retrieval, meaning to say every retrieval. So... For online learners, I really have to cons uh, I really have to require them to submit their outputs um, using my email so that it is for easy tracking and not for messenger. I really have to create a GC GC for them exclusively for online learners so that I can submit. I can give them soft copies as a whole. Where class happens, specifications, modules, mostly modules. We are in the modular learning. So 
but I have to have every other week to meet the class using the Gmeet or the Google Meet or Google Classroom for some uh, difficult lessons. And I want to interact also with you, dear students. For the grading system, we have 60% for our performance and 40% for our written work. And this contemporary arts from the region is a core subject. So same grade distribution for some core subjects. That is all. And uh, for any clarifications and questions, can you uh, direct message me to my uh, through our group chat. Thank you so much. Okay, so I believe that that's really everybody that is coming from our contemporary subject. So next subject would be the MIL Information Literacy or Hope 3. So once you need this from Ma'am Denny, pwede na po kayo mag-present. Ay, mag-turn on po ng cam. Okay, so good morning students. So, here are the rules for MIL and HOPE or PE. So, rules paper to use. Direct answer to modules for other activities. And then, yellow paper for essay. And short band paper for drawings. Uh, just like posters. Handwritten or hand-drawn, yes and photograph for digital MDL. Submission deadline, next retrieval schedule, email, uh, exclusive for digital MDL students and video submissions. Where class happens? In our Google Class Classroom for all things digital, including links, such as weekly as assessment, soft copy of modules, and assignments. So, be updated lang dun sa class, uh, Google Class natin. Grading system, 60% for performance, 40% for written works. So here are the links for MIL sa Google Classroom natin at saka sa PE natin. For ang MIL for STEM E and F, yums STEM E and F at saka yung HOPE, STEM A to C. So all announcements will be posted in our Google Class. So be updated. Fail to submit or return your modules and answer sheets on the said schedule. I will deduct points. So this is only for students who have no valid reason. So if you fail to submit on time, attach a letter that states your valid reason why you did not return it on time. So with the signature of your parent or guardian. So pass it on the next retrieval schedule. So yun lang. I hope you understand it. Thank you. Okay na, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much, ma'am Obenya, for the orientation of your subject. So for the next subject, we have the still the media information literacy coming from Sir Marlon A. Bulasa. Sir? All right. Uh, good morning. My courtesy to our assistant principal, Sir uh, uh, Israel Gabion. Sir, good morning. And uh, to our guidance office and to the registrar's office, good morning to my fellow teachers and the rest of the students who are in the loop, good morning. So once again, I am Marlon Bulasa and assigned to 
STEM A as the advisor for this school year 2021-2022. My subject handled is media and information literacy. And uh, when we talk about MIL, we are also dealing with communication. So um, the list that you could expect in my subject is that we are going to deal with um, the traditional media, the new media, and the digital media, which, are we, which we are fully acquainted right now, um, commonly known as the social media. But not just only knowing those mediums of media, but we have to understand how we act, how we behave, and how we um, show attitude um, in the sense that uh, when we are going to sit down and utilize all these mediums or platforms of media, we know the rules, we know exactly what we do. So that's what we call the netiquette. So apart from that, um, when we talk about MIL, I hope, no, quote unquote, that we will be learning or giving our understanding about communication, how communication affects these platforms of media and how this communication affects our lives and the society. So I think that is a grasp of what we are about to learn and explore about MIL. Now, with regards to my rules and specifications, no, um, I think everybody is um, requiring everyone to use paper or uh, in answering your modules. So I, didn't, uh, I do not allow students to write any answers in the module, but perhaps you may use a yellow paper. Now, there are students who are asking if they could uh, print their answer you know, from the module. Yes, I will allow it. You no, know? you may do so, so that uh, you'll be able to ex maybe um, explain a lot you know, with regards to your answers from the module. So I will allow yellow paper and short bond paper for those who choose a printed one. And of course, um, there are activities that need to have drawing, um, caricature, and um, what else? Um, um, collage. Collage. No, collage. So you are going to uh, place it in a short bond paper. No, anything that is not, uh, uh, anything that that needs uh, those kinds of uh, papers should be uniform in, uh, should be put into bond paper so that we have a uniformity in our uh, projects. And again, I would like also to um, ask the students to please do good and uh, do better or maybe best in answering your weekly assessment because that is important why because i consider this as one of your performance tasks okay so when we talk about performance tasks that is 60 percent now of your total grades so that is a part of your performance task so uh, better be good on that weekly assessment plus uh the drawings the collage and the caricatures are considered part of the uh, 60 percent oh, as your performance task 40 percent written is the submission of your modules no all the activities uh, essays the written ones are considered your written tasks so um i hope you will not take for granted also the 40 percent because that really uh makes the total of your grade for the rest of the semester now in the submission um Please beat the deadline because when you cannot beat the deadline, you are dead, right? So that means this, that that goes to show that uh, if you could not submit it on time, no, there will be deductions. The same as true with other teachers or advisors uh, implementing such rules. So every next retrieval schedule will be the submission of your modules. Now, if and when there would be a delayed submission of uh, your um, modules or answer sheets, no? the rule is clearly saying that there should be, whatever reasons for that, there is really a deduction. 
So that is loud and clear. Okay? So whether what reasons you have for not um, submitting it on time, I would really have to deduct because it is also uh, unfair to others who submitted um, the, the answer sheets on time. Okay? So for emails, only exclusive again for digital MDL students. I, I think we have few, so I would cater that. And for those students who are asking for a Google class, honestly, I do not have any Google class for some reasons. Like um, I also have other responsibilities, like I'm handling uh, Radio Escuela and it need, needs time no, for uh, in doing Radio Escuela. So from time to time, we will just be uh, hearing each other and communicating each other from our uh, group chat. Uh, classroom group chat for STEM A and for the rest of the uh, STEM students like STEM B, C, and B, um, you'll have to post your concerns and issues over our private FB uh, page. So that's our means of communication or as our classroom. So we are still on the modules and a private group are available. So I hope uh, you're all a member of that private uh, FB uh, page for that so whether you like it or you like it I will be your instructor or teacher for the rest of the semester and I hope that uh, we will get along with that uh, for the rest of the, the entire school year 2021 2022 and I would like also to take this opportunity of inviting you to please listen to Radio Escuela over DXND that's Mondays to Fridays in the morning we, uh, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and in the afternoon 3 uh, p.m. to 4 p.m. Although there is no lesson for senior high school, but we have to intensify also the listeners, uh, listenership of our program, radio program sponsored by With Love John Foundation Incorporated at the Department of Education, Kinapawan City Division. And maybe you have your cousins with you, your pamankins with you, uh, that is from uh, junior high school, maybe you could invite them also to listen to some of the lessons over Radio Escuela, uh, heard at 747 Radio Bida DXND Kidapawan. I think that would be all for now. And for those uh, more information or queries, you just uh, email me or chat with me with our group chat. So thank you very much and welcome students to school year 2021-2022. Thank you so much, Sir Marlon, for a very comprehensive orientation on your subject. Okay, next we'll have, okay, my very own Filipino. So, our subject's complete name is Pagsulat sa Filipino sa Piling Larang. So, allow me to use the English language, guys. Okay, for my subject, this is composition. It is mainly on writing. So there are a lot of reminders to be uh, shared later about your about the mechanics on your written composition. Now for my subject, unlike any other subject, you will be using the module as your answer. Okay, module as your answer sheets. That is because I am using an application where your answers will be scanned. So that is the purpose of module. Now, for the handwritten, for the written composition, of course, you will be having this handwritten. Okay, handwritten. I will not be allowing any one of you to print your written composition. That is for you to exert your effort and to avoid the copying and pasting from the internet. But there is an exemption. Exemption would be for those who are under the online learning modality. So as I have learned, there are only few students who are under the online learning modality so there is one per subject so only those students 
will be able to send me a printed material of their written composition. Now for the submission, same with the, with the other teachers, I have to encourage everybody or to demand to everybody that you will be submitting your modules, your answered modules, on the date of the set retrieval schedule. So for the next two weeks, you will be submitting your week one and two modules on September 27. Okay. Now for the submission, for those under the ODL or OLB, online learning, OLM, online learning modality, you have my email or you can send it via messenger. Now, where class happens? So we have here the specification online, but mostly you will just be having your modules. Online classes will just be done if the topic demands it, okay? Only for those hard topics or difficult topics. Online class or we don't have also Zoom. Now for the grading system on my subject, the same with other subjects, it is composed of written works and performance tasks. For the written works, 40%, 40% that includes your evaluation quizzes on your modules. So for the entire semester, for the entire quarter, for the first quarter, you will be having, uh, for the first semester, that is two quarters, you will be having eight modules, eight week modules. So 40% coming from the, from the evaluation exercises on every module and at the same time, the activities on it. Another composition for the written works is your summative test after the, uh, after the, after every quarter. Now, for the performance task, it is equivalent to 60%. The performance task would be your outputs, the written outputs. So for the weeks one to three, there's no output yet, but for weeks four to eight, there will be outputs, written outputs for every module. So that would be under the performance tasks. So. My primary concern for this subject is, number one, you have to avoid plagiarizing. So that is common among the students for easier way of answering their modules. They have to copy and paste from the internet. But guys, I warn you that I am reading your outputs. So I really thoroughly read your outputs and once that is duplicated from your other classmates, then there will be not just deductions. You really have to redo. You really have to submit another output. Okay, so avoid plagiarism. So copying and pasting from the internet is not learning. No? So we have to produce a productive learning during this time. Okay. So I think that is only my primary concern for my subject. So thank you. Okay, next we have the UCSP to be discussed by Sir Isidro Andea. Good morning, my courtesy to our assistant principal, Sir Israel A. Gabion. To all the administrators who are here, uh, our registrar office and uh, guidance office or gu our guidance counselor, to our dear teachers and to our dynamic students, good morning. Uh, I'm Isidro Andea Jr. You can call me Sir June. I will be your UCSP teacher, Understanding Culture, Society and Politics. So as what that I said, uh, let's work hand in hand for a better and remarkable distance learning amidst this pandemic. So 
let's not uh, make things complicated. So there are three things that we need to ponder as we go through in our dealings with our subject, that you need to be open-minded to adapt these new normal settings, be responsible and resourceful for a meaningful learning at your own pace. So what are the rules and uh, specification uh, for this subject? Uh, paper to use. Uh, students, you're going to answer your modules in a yellow pad paper. And uh, only your answer sheets will be returned every retrieval. So just keep the modules with you uh, as a sort of a reference for you to review our lesson. Because we have a summative test then. So I will be asking you if you're going to return that one as a whole or as a bundle. So I'm also very considerate uh, with your learning styles. And of course, some of our students have their multiple intelligences. So uh, to those who are techno savvy students who really uh, express their ideas, their learnings, through uh, digitals, then you may type and uh, print your answers, but make sure uh, no copy-pasted answers. So plagiarism is not allowed. I'm, I'm a fan of reading works of my student, make sure that uh, you do it on your own. So what will, be, what will happen if there are some students na talagang makita natin na copy-pasted and uh, merong duplicated answers. Kahit kayo po ang original ones, and if I found out that you have duplications of answers, you may suffer, of course, the act of your May picture doon ang sisulit the cover ni Holy. So, you can print it in a long band paper. So, I'm also accepting handwritten uh, for those na wala talagang uh, uh, materials at home, walang printer din, so you can write your answer in a yellow pad paper. And the submission will be every retrieval. Uh, hope na you did not miss this submission kasi uh, will, I will be giving you a minus points if uh, you submitted it late. So, Please, uh, students, uh, label your answer sheets. Don't forget to really write your name, your section, and the date submitted. Yung date submitted na ilalagay po natin is yung retrieval na schedule. Then, of course, your subject. So, yun po ang nakalagay dapat sa ating label. And emails is exclusive, uh, exclusive only for our digital MDL. And uh, where class happens? Of course, our modality is modular, so you can have uh, your modules, then group chat uh, was created for, for follow-ups and uh, monitoring. I also created our Google Classroom, and uh, the link was already sent in your respective GC, please enroll and register your accounts. Then Google Meet, uh, maybe we will use Google Meet as the need arises. And we have also our video learning content. You can watch that in, in my YouTube channel. I have a monetized channel, but during the premiere, the monetization is off. Or I'm also planning na mag-create ng another account uh, for educational purposes lang ng mga videos. So, yun po. And uh, our grading system, our written works, we have 40% and uh, your performance is 60%. So, for us to be organized in all our dealings sa ating subject, uh, I'd like to remind it's one of us students to make uh, every opportunity to become more productive every day. I know that you are very flexible with your 
uh, schedules. Uh, I know that some of you are also working. So make every opportunity lang. Then be initiative and do not make things complicated. Just be call. If you have some concerns, then you can uh, ask me and reach me out sa messenger. So be creative and resource, uh, resourceful in good ways. Then uh, let us address concerns in, instead of complaining no, to foster mental health also. And let, uh, ito talaga yung uh, uh, gusto ko sa bawat isa sa atin that let's help one another and work hand in hand so that no one will be left behind. Then you need to follow the instructions and take for uh, take a look for important announcement for you to be updated so that's all and uh, god bless everyone thank you sir and they uh, for that orientation now we'll proceed to Physics one. Hello, sir. May I come back in? My yes, earthquake drill. Po tayo. We will not exercise our earthquake drill this hour. Uh, uh, yes, today is our simultaneous nationwide <laughs> earthquake drill. Maybe we can we can uh, do it after our orientation, no? Yes, yes. ma'am. After orientation, na lang po. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we'll welcome Engineer Aga. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to our assistant principal for senior high school and our um, registrar's office personnel and my fellow teachers. Good morning, students. I am Maricel M. Naraga, your subject teacher for General Physics 1. Welcome to General Physics 1 school year 2021-2022. These are the rules and specifications for the subject. Okay. General Physics 1 covers the topics about kinematics, sound, and um, fluids. The paper to use will be yellow paper for your solutions and long band paper for your drawings, specifically for the vectors and activities. Handwritten po, so you're going to write your solution or you're going to write the digits and symbols on your solutions legibly, hindi po yung three mukhang five or yung seven mukhang nine. Para po sa mga um, distance learning le uh, students natin or under the, the di digital uh, modular learning, they can photograph their answer sheets at isend po sa akin. Submission deadline will be the next retrieval schedule you can also send your answers sa aking email okay where class happens ating mga modules simplified naman po yung ating mga um, modules for the general physics one ko meron pong mga clarifications about the principles and the problem solving activities pwede nyo pa akong i-chat sa ating mga gc o kaya naman i-direct message nyo na lang pa ako for the grading system, 60% performance. This includes your solutions to the problems and activities and also yung output natin sa ating mga activities. And then 40% written work. Ito po yung ating mga scores sa quizzes natin sa mga evaluation ng ating modules and scores sa ating summative test. I encourage everyone to keep a photograph of your um, answers to Answer sheets before submission, just in case maligaw po yung inyong papel or hindi po makarating sa akin, meron pa rin po tayong may papasa. So, yun lamang po munang para sa General Physics 1. Thank you. Thank you so much, Engineer Nalaga. Okay, now we'll have the bio one of Ma'am Abler. Okay, uh, good morning everyone. Good morning, Sir Gabion. Uh, good morning, fellow teachers, and good morning, students. So, 
I am Celine Eliza Abler. I will be teaching biology one, uh, general biology one subject. So the goals for our objectives for biology one is centered around cellular biology for quarter one and bioenergetics or biochemistry for quarter two. So we already have um, a Google Classroom, which is you already have a code for it. I've already given it. I've already also attached it to your modules. Last retrieve, uh, last uh, distribution schedule. So another thing is for this class, you will have to um, attend classes online, uh, synchronous classes. So you have Google Meet. Pero if you are not able to attend the Google Meet, which is scheduled every Wednesdays uh, or Thursdays, de uh, depending on the schedule available. So you have every Wednesdays or Thursdays at 8 o'clock a.m. So if you are not able to attend it, uh, I have a DepEd um, YouTube channel that is non-monetized just for educational purposes. So you have, um, you have your um uh separate uh, separate copy of the videos of the of the recorded videos for the session for the google meet so another thing for this subject is that i will be requiring everyone for a handwritten output or hand-drawn output so handwritten output will be submitted using intermediate paper so only one page and front page lang, and not all of the questions in your modules will be asked of you every for every module. So you will just need to answer just a few or uh, you have to perform a certain activity. So please expect, because this is biology, uh, that you will have laboratories. Uh, the laboratories are also designed that you can perform them at home. So you can act, uh, you have already uh, procedures that we, you will be given, simple procedures. They will not require you um, too much expenses actually. Just, if, um, just you can actually ask for a substitute for other uh, laboratory materials. Okay, so uh, for this one, if you have intermediate for your write-ups, you have a short bond paper. Uh, to use for drawings. So um, you can also um, send me your photographed copy if you are opting for uh, digital modular uh, distance learning. So if you are um, um, for digital MDL, so you can send me via email. So I have already a format assigned. So uh, you need to have a format because there are a lot of you. You are almost 390, so I have to uh, check them by uh, code. So uh, you have to use a code for your subject heading for your email. Or uh, you have to also use a code when you are sending uh, your papers. So you have to write down... Uh, on top, your section first, your surname, then your first name, then the um, module and quarter. So yun ang, uh, that's the one that you will have to write on your paper. Another thing for this subject is that I will be very strict this year for the um, submission of the requirements. So although um every teacher after every retrieval ha is already dropping their module the their collected modules from you you will have to secure yourselves by taking photographs of your paper before submitting them so if uh you can only delete them after uh i have already provided the grades to your teachers that's uh that's so that you can assure yourselves that you have a, a separate copy so um another thing is you have um you will be graded a uh, part of your grades will account for the 
um, time of your submission. So if you did not meet the deadline, especially if you have not submitted it during the retrieval, so you will need to um, come, uh, submit your reason kung bakit hindi ka nakapag-submit. Okay. So you have also another option if hindi ka nakapag-submit during retrieval schedule, you can also send uh, send your paper via email during the day of the retrieval schedule until 5 p.m. ang cut-off. So by email na, you are not actually allowed to enter the school um, um, unless if you have two. So uh, kung kailan lang mag-ano, kung kailan lang, uh, kailangan pupunta ng school sa kalang, but if it's all about submitting your uh, modules, you are not allowed to go to school. So the only way to submit your late papers is by email. Okay, so I've already uh, provided your uh, my email address for you to send your modules to. Okay, so um, there are other options for submission. So if you opt for a video essay instead of a write-up or, or a handwritten output, you can also send me a link, but you have to upload it to your own uh, YouTube channel so I can view it there. So I just need your link in the, uh, the not the entire video uh, for your email. Okay, and the next is uh, we will be meeting every Wednesdays and we have a Google Classroom. The Google Classroom actually um, has all the links for all things like your link for the YouTube channel where all recorded sessions of the Google Meet are um, uploaded to. You have also links to all diagnostic tests and um, links also to all um, summative tests. So summative tests can be taken using um, the Google form or you can submit one uh, during a retrieval schedule. So um uh the grading system for this one is 60 percent performance the performance actually is already uh i've already lined up four activities that are for performance you can actually get the link for the pdf copy of that list in your google classroom 40 percent will be written work written work consists of your summative tests, and the um, other activities related to your modules, the ones that do not have um, certain performance activities lined up. Okay, so that's all for my subject, Biology 1. Good luck and God bless to, all, to everyone. Thank you so much, Mama Blur. Now for the last subject in queue, we have the English for Academic and Professional Purposes. So let us welcome Mama Resel Campo. Uh, good morning, everyone. Sir Gabion to all the teachers and students. So EAP, that is English for Academic and Professional Purposes. So here are the rules, paper to use. So I prefer yung yellow paper. Uh, wag niyo nang ibalik yung mga module. So, dyan na lang muna. So, pwede nyo, nyo yung gamitin uh, pag merong mga summative. At least meron kayong gagamitin sa review. Then, for handwritten, yes, handwritten. So, hindi ko muna i-allow yung printed. Kasi pag printed, usually copy-paste. Then, pinapalitan lang yung name. So, dapat handwritten. So, hindi yung printed. So, submission deadline. So, dapat next retrieval yung submission. So, yung mga late submission, that is minus points. So, in case na meron kayong mga valid reason kung bakit hindi kayo nakapasa, so, maglagay lang kayo ng letter, i-attach dun, uh, dun sa inyong paper. 
Okay, then email. So, this is only applicable lang dun sa mga digital learners. Okay, yung sa mga hindi digital learners, so hindi pwede itong email. Kailangan uh, yung hard copy talaga na answer sheet. Then, work class happen. So, modular lang uh, sa modules. Pero if meron kayong mga concerns, so pwede niyo akong i-message uh, personally. So, meron tayong mga GC or pwede din dun sa Facebook group natin. Then, for the grading system, so 40% that is written work and 60% uh, that is for performance. So, yung written work, yan yung mga activities nyo sa module. So, yun namang 60% performance that is sa summative test. Then, included din dito sa performance uh, na 60%. Is yung, mga, uh, is yung sa reaction paper nyo, yung sa concept paper, yung position paper, and other laboratory reports. So, under yan sa 60% na performance. Okay, so yun lang yung mga rules for EAP. So, good luck everyone. Thank you so much, Ma'am Campo. Okay, so those are all the all of your subject teachers for the entire semester for the school year 2021-2022. So I hope you have listened thoroughly for you to be oriented of what are the mechanics on your subjects. So this time we will be hearing an orientation from the registrar's office to be delivered by Ma'am Gurley M. Pahuta. Ma'am? Hello po, I think Ma'am Gurley is not with her microphone. Hi. Hello, good morning. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, good morning, Ma'am. Yes, Ma'am. Ma yes, ma okay. Welcome uh, all STEM students for this SY 2021-2022. I am Miss Gurley M. Pahota. I am your school, senior high school registrar. My major functions is to keep all your records and release your records. I have been here in this institution for almost two years already. And where I have a senior high school grew and in Slap here in the office, and then in this in this sense of notifications, uh, hindi na kayo magwait na time dito sa office, and then we can cater you immediately. So once again, welcome to the senior high school department. That's all. Sir Vigo. Thank you so much, Ma'am Pahuta. Okay, so this time, we'll have the orientation coming from the office of the Senior High School Guidance Office. So we'll have Ma'am Suzanne Di Gablido.
Parang Number? mamayang parang Ito. mamayang hapon pa ata si Ma'am Gabrido, sir. Okay, so thank you, Ma'am Celine, for the information. Okay, kung so Ma'am Z will be kung, talking. Kung wala po siya, friends. okay lang po ako mag-present. Ikaw na lang, Ma'am Celine? Yes po. Okay lang po. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, good morning again everyone. So uh, kasi sa my may pinuntahan ngayon si Ma'am Gabrido. So this is her slides. Uh, Ma'am Gabrido will be the one who will handle all career guidance and coaching including administration and interpretation of all psychological tests and counseling uh, under the Project Paminaw Helpline. So uh, student orientations can also be done by Ma'am Suzanne Gabrido. So um, under her project for me now, uh, we, uh, she is she also caters calls or texts or um, DMs or PMs from all students. So you can actually um, reach out to Mom Suzanne uh, regarding any concerns that you have. Uh, you can direct them to her, or you can go through your advisor. So. Uh, Project Pamino is actually um, has a motto of I listen because I care. So it's an online conversation or counseling service given to all learners by their respective guidance counselor. So the senior high school guidance counselor for KCNHS is Mom Suzanne Gabrido. So uh, the objectives for this is to provide everyone uh, the avenue to ventilate negative emotions through online conversation or counseling. Uh, she can also help uh, assist you for your academic adjustment and identify immediate psychosocial interventions. If you have burnout of, or if you have any um, emotional concerns, you can direct them to Mom Suzanne Gabrido anytime you want. So um, another objective for Mom Gabrido is that she can do so, uh, follow-ups of previous clients who are at risk for emotional and mental um, problems. So her role involves uh, making herself available to all of you. Uh, Project Paminaw is available 24 hours. The helpline is available 24 hours. So you have to um, take down the number that she has provided from this slide. So another is that she is someone you can uh, who can check on you anytime that you wanted her to. Uh, if you give her the um go signal that you can talk to her anytime you can uh um, call her anytime so she will be somebody who will serve as your outlet while continuing your education in the new normal during the pandemic so her roles would include securing your list uh the list is actually considered as confidential uh, as uh, as advisor and subject teacher, we are we are not allowed to know uh, who contacted her and who are the ones who has uh, who she has helped uh, through uh, during the school year. So we are just um, only allowed to um, enter the counseling or coaching uh, period if you allow us to enter that so she will be submitting also monthly reports uh, of conducted online conversations or counseling to the assistant principals and principals using the prescribed uh, template and suggest possible interventions or based from your concerns okay so i uh, 
uh, counseling and online conversation has three types. You have the self-referral, uh, wherein you voluntarily submit yourselves to Mam Gabrido. You have also the teacher's referral, wherein the teacher will be the one if you are not brave enough to uh, go to Mam Gabrido, we'll be, we will be the one who will identify your risk and we will be referring you to her. So the third uh, type is we have the scheduled online con uh, conversation or counseling. Um, scheduled uh, conversation or counseling is already uh, is done if uh, self-referral um, needs um, certain long periods of coaching or uh, if the identified risk of emotional and psychological distress is a bit worrisome, so medyo kailangan siya ng mahaba-habang usapan. So, scheduled na kayo after that. Okay? So, uh, she will keep a log of her clients, pero that's under luck and key. And there's a referral form for teachers, although sa ngayon it's either verbal or ano, but she keeps a record of all the referral forms. So for monitoring and reporting, this is the template that she will be submitting. Only the numbers for monitoring and reporting. Your names will not be included in the report. Okay, so uh, the guidance office under Mom Suzanne Gabrido uh, will be administering uh, is, uh, and also is capable of administering psychological tests. Mom Gabrido is a registered psychometrician, so it, she is capable of interpreting and administering these uh, psychological tests. So available for senior high school students is the DAS-21. We have the Emotions Profile Index, the Jackson's Personality Test. You have the VAC Learning Style Inventory. You have, uh, the VAC is actually video audio uh, kinesthetic, okay? So next is we have the career interest survey. You can take part of that survey too. We have the MBTI personality test. We have MD5 mental ability test and the ALSAT and ALMAT. Okay, so this is the... Um, learners needs and school adjustment survey that you will have to answer starting september 27 to october 10 2021 so a link will be provided for you uh, via the group chat or uh, respective um, class group chats via messenger or the uh, facebook group so ito yung sasagutan ninyo starting september 27 the deadline of submission for this Google form is on October 10, 2021. So you can mark your calendars for this one. So don't worry about this because uh, the questions that we that you will answer is confidential, highly confidential data. So si Ma'am Gabrido lang din ang makakakita nito. Okay? So that's all for your from your guidance counselor. Thank you so much, Pam Celine. So this time we are down to the last slide of our virtual orientation. And that would be for the announcements. Now for the announcements, we have here prepared a list of few reminders to you students. So first would be to handle your modules with care. So please, the debt ed spent so much, a lot of money for the production of your modules. So kindly take care of it, guys. Number two, organize your answer sheets by subject upon submission. Now, during the retrieval schedule of your modules or of your envelopes, please arrange your answer sheets or your answered modules by subject. Meaning to say, di ba meron dalawang weeks per subject? 
So dapat magkasunod-sunod ang week 1 and week 2 ni subject 1, ni subject 2, and the rest. Hindi pwedeng week 1 ni IAP followed by week 2 ni physics. So hindi ganon. You have to organize them in an orderly manner. Okay, number 3. Label your answer sheets with name, grade, and section, subject, quarter, week number, and date. For those subjects requiring you to have your answers on paper, intermediate or yellow paper, you have to label your answer sheets with the following information. Okay? So do not forget your name, your grade and section, at the same time, the subject, the quarter, the week number, and the date. So you just have to copy it from your module. Number four, submit your modules, answer sheets on the set retrieval schedule, date, and time. So I believe that was emphasized by all of your subject teachers. And number five, avoid plagiarism, especially to the writing subjects, the EAP and the Filipino, and even to the rest of the subjects. And six, be active on, online. So though you have the modular learning modality, still you have to be active online. So for you to learn much about your subject, at least um, thrice in a week, you have to consult your messenger, your Google Classrooms, your FB private groups because there are reinforcements or supplements for your subjects. And number seven, have fun learning. So though it may be difficult at this time of pandemic, you have to enjoy or you have to have fun learning. So we'll make it a learning filled with fun. And for the last, students kindly enjoin your parents for this afternoon's session of orientation, specifically intended for your parents, that would start at 1 o'clock until 2 p.m. Okay, so those are the announcements for this uh, virtual orientation. Now, may I ask some of the teachers if you have any addition? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am, Jen. Um, as far as our number of learners are present now in our Google Meet, I think yes, parang hindi nakaabot ng 100. May so, we have one, ano one earlier. Oh, okay, may limit, yes. no? So Pero how about... Naka-ano po sa Discord ng iba po. Okay, how about those? May... Wait lang, si Ma Ma Sir Marlon is on his microphone. Please, sir, off muna po. Um, um my, my my concern is how about those students na hindi nakapasok ng Google Meet or cannot be able to connect or hindi nakarinig ng ating orientation what will we do for that Um ma'am nagpaano pa ako ng Discord para sa iba na papasok sa ibang streaming na platform tapos magpa-send lang ng group na screenshot for all attendees tapos I'll be uploading a copy of this uh, recorded po na Google Meet na session sa YouTube channel po. Tapos, I'll be sending a link po later. Then, I'll be sending also a uh, copy po of the PDF ng slides po. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Can we have also a copy of that P uh, PowerPoint so that we can also, ano, ah, hindi na sa, sa advisors na lang siguro, ma'am, no? Yes, po. Apo. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so we go. Uh, I would just like to reiterate that in case the students are using yellow paper, please indicate those uh, name, uh, section, year, quarter, uh, those things. No, indicate it page by page. No, if you, in, just in case you're using the yellow paper in your answer sheet, so that 
uh, we will avoid the uh, uh, disorganization of uh, the answer sheets no from one play one subject to another i think by standard po tayo na ano tag for each subject di ba po yes but i would like to reiterate that they will write their name each page of the yellow paper uh, for those who are under mil stem a to stem d bala na nang uban na kuan but for my class stem a to stem d that is my requirement in case you are using yellow paper Okay, so that is per page, Sir Mylon. Yes. Sir, also, uh, may we know other subjects na nag-offer ng Google Class uh, yung form, Google Form for the Summative Test? Kasi hindi alam ng iba na uh, magbibigay tayo ng summative or tests through Google Form. By GC yes, na lang. Yes, for subject, my summative test would be on Google Form. Sa akin din po, sa biology. Uh, Google yes, yes. form, pero meron din yung shading na portion. Pag shading, bawal talaga na hindi, na hindi i-shade yung, ano po, yung test paper. Yes, also for my subject, I will require Google form for the summative test. But if in case those students who are in far or remote areas, if they can answer also through their hard copies or through their answer sheets. UCSP subject din po for diagnostic test and for summative test. Okay, so thank you so much. Some more else from other teachers. Okay, if none, so this time, can you turn on your camera? All of the participants for photo taking Hello, sir, Minard. as part of the documentation classes. Ah, yes, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, sir, uh, Gabion. I would like to request every teacher because you have your group chat, right? Yes, sir. I request Opo. that you have to add me to your group chat so that I can also uh, observe and also know the ongoing uh transactions you have or undertakings you have with your students but of course i will just uh, observe and if there are things that i need to talk with you i will just uh, talk with you personally or message you uh, in private and uh every advisor also or every teacher i want that you're going to submit to me list of your students with their data like for example their uh phone numbers like that and of course their address because in your uh, WSLP, in your technical assistance provided, just like uh, last year, of course, most uh, some of our teachers, they really uh, implemented the, or they really did the uh, home visitations. But of course, some teachers uh, have not done that because of, of course, uh, there, are, uh, there were places before which we're not safe for the visitation because of the COVID-19. But uh, as long as the places are safe from COVID-19, right now or this year, if we have students who are having difficulties with their, with their grades or their lessons, uh, in, in, in the office of the senior high school as your assistant principal in academics, and of course, as a male uh, teacher, I am willing to help every teacher, especially the female teachers, to do the home visitations. So uh, just give me the, the addresses and then the phone numbers because I will visit the students myself if you need to do the home visitations so that we can follow up their parents, we can talk with their parents, their guardians. Of course, we can also reach out to students. If we have to talk to them so that we, they can really uh, comply all the requirements and then we will know what are the reasons why sometimes they are late sometimes they cannot uh, comply all the requirements the, the, the requirements that they have to really submit in time so uh, give me the list of your students the data then just tell me if you need my help so that I can also do the home visitation let's help one another this is help and this is helping one another for our students. That's all. God bless. 
Thank you, sir. Hello, Sir Gabion. Yes, sir. Hello, Sir Bo. We'll see you later. All hello, of our hello, private groups and... Uh, kailangan, kailangan po ba lahat na subjects po kayo i-add? Speaking. Yeah. Anyway, I will just be observing and if, if I can be a big help, I will just uh, insert from time to time. But, uh, for uh, for the students not to really uh, what's that be disturbed why there is another person who is involved I will just really observe then but the but the transactions will be between me and you as teachers for for the students I will not uh, give them instructions uh, instructions should be coming from the teachers directly yes sir no problem for Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, so get ready po for photo op. Uh, turn on your mic and arrange your hair for everyone. So let's have a photo op muna para to record this moment. Okay. Smile. Maganda si Ma'am Campo oh, pag walang mask, no? Mas maganda. Okay. Smile, everyone. Okay, done, done. Thank you. So, afternoon na tayo mamaya at 1 o'clock. Sir Vigo? Salamat, yes. sir, sir Vigo so and Lonceline. Thank you so much, teachers. Calls and teachers. Sir Gabion, thank you. Ma'am uh, Ma Gurley, thank you po. Thank you, sir. Okay, Thank you so for inviting me. Congrats. Yes, sir. Dear students, please have your parents this afternoon. Thank you. You can now leave. Um, the pwede board. din i-assist ang mga parents mamaya for a streaming platform. You can help your parents for kung um, papag hindi naaabot mamaya. So, 100 lang yung kaya. The same link lang ba pa rin para this afternoon? Yes, po. Bye. Bye. Bye, sir. Bye, Bye sir. Bye, Bye, sir. Bye, Bye, teacher. Thank you for the information. God bless everyone. Bye. 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 B